Today we're back with more classic fixed risk. Yeah, baby. Uh, we're also live streaming right now and hanging out on Twitch, YouTube, and Kick. But right now we're going to be playing classic fixed world domination with alliances and blizzards on it. No fog, no portals. And what do the blizzards do? They choke up Asia a little bit with Siberia, but that's it. I am the green player in the sixth position with an absolute god spawn for South America. Let's go baby town. So we know what our game is going to look like. We take South America first and then go from there. Pink wants to ally me. I'm going to say yes to the alliance and a heart and tell him, hey, bro, I'm sorry, but I need to hit your territory. Yellow's got a really good spawn looking for Europe, which is a bit of a problem, but uh, maybe red can test them. Or red. Yeah, what is red doing here with the Middle East? I don't know. Black. What? Dude, Black, you do not have a claim to Australia. Okay. All right, so there's going to be some drama happening down here. What does Pink do in response to that? Pink gets five troops in the first round. He can make an 11. But now does he even want to? What's Blue doing down here? You're going to move the seven up into the six. And then you're going to go for North America. Okay, so Blue goes for North America. That makes sense. Oh, by the way, Sam, uh, congrats on your seven-year wedding anniversary. Happy to hear that. <laughs> Trollfax was at role-playing with the boys, so he missed the first half of the stream. Right on. Hey, Kel, did I finally reach expert through watching your YouTube videos? Ah, uh, congrats, bro. Young Wolf Gaming. If you reach expert, it won't take you long to reach the next steps. Definitely. Um, okay. So what's the plan here? Something like this. I'm going to start moving this out. I have a turn one. 7-7 seven, seven guarding South America. Pretty good. I can maybe look for Africa next. Or depends what happens. Pink did double down for Australia. So pink and black are going to hell. Um, and if they do, does red snipe Australia after they kill each other? That's the question, right? Don't know. Um... Uh, Shit, what was I going to do a second ago? I had some... I like cheeseburgers. That's a random comment. I love it. That's a GG. I mean, it's looking good. Usually we don't get this much luck to start a classic game. You guys know I have like 14 troops in Asia spread out. Someone has a Europe spawn, an Africa spawn, Australia spawn. I'm just... I'm in the middle of nothing. I like turtles. Love cheeseburger. All right. All right. Do we have dudes? No! What is this game? Maybe I'm rolling a Spanish flag and nobody knows. Maybe the game knows. On the inside. Thank you, thank you. I genuinely forgot about it and ha he had to remind me. Yeah, that's fair, Sam. Like, I, I know my anniversary date and I we just, like, and birthdays and stuff. We don't care about all that stuff. Like, we don't do anything special on those days. Because every day is special, so we don't really need special days. Like, we skip Valentine's Day and shit, too. But I know some people really like to celebrate that stuff, and they like the like that, so. But, like, I definitely resonate with you where you just forget the date, and you're like, meh. <laughs> we just usually go on vacation every, like, our anniversary and her birthday are closest together in April, so we just kind of just, we do a vacation in April and kind of celebrate both. About how it looks. <clears throat> hmm. I'm very tempted. Nobody has three cards yet. Nobody has three cards yet. It looks like red is waiting for the... What are you? Wait, it wasn't a spider. It's a little... It's a mosquito. How is a mosquito in my house, dude? 
Kilted's a very special boy, so it checks out. What did I miss? Is it? Uh, we're playing classic fixed. It's fixed cards. Every day is a special day because Kilted is special. Oh, here we go. Do you like pickles on your cheeseburger? Uh, what do we got? Send dudes, baby. If yellow takes that, I'll probably take mine. Downside is everybody's going to potentially have a set on three to block me. No, he's not taking it, so I won't take mine yet either. Like, do I actually greed press this or what? Maybe I can get black to move Egypt out and make it even easier for me. I don't really want to have to hit twos. <laughs> I have a cousin that lives far away. Dude, random comments. Can't even tell the difference between a spider and a mosquito. A mosquito has six legs, a spider has eight. I'm, I'm blind. Maybe there was a spider and then I saw a mosquito flying around. I don't know, man. How do you mistake it? Oh, God. I can't do anything right, man. You just uh, gotta, get, gotta get it wrong and get called out by chat. And spiders don't fly unless you live in Australia. Dude, that's terrifying. I've seen the I've seen those pictures of like the spiders that all like they get picked up in the wind and they just layer like fields of Australian cobwebs. <laughs> oh my god. This is going to be some stuff. And I go right after pink, so Okay, I'm just going to do this. No trade on three. The downside of my position is I trade last, generally. Everybody has a chance to trade before me. So the odds of me, like, it's not like I'm going to be on four cards and someone will take their fourth card and then I can trade kill them. It's like, for me to trade on four and kill them, they have to actually go to five. It's much more difficult. Are you a big cilantro guy? No. I mean, I'm not opposed to a little cilantro and serve for some flavoring, but. If it's a spider, not smash. If it is a mosquito, smash it. All right. Sounds good. And everyone wants. Yeah, this is this is a very big noob fight for Australia. So I'm going to be homies with yellow as best as I can. I would like yellow to move uh, heart heart. Yeah. I mean, if blue takes the fourth card, red could trade and kill blue into a trade and to take North America. Like, I don't know if red's looking at that. Maybe he is. But if blue doesn't have a trade here, red could trade off the 16, go right through, kill him. It's free. And then trade again. And then depending, like, red needs a big trade and then he'd want to get a big trade off the kill, but he could do it. Oh, my. Especially with blue overextending. This is a major nice play by him. If pink and black do kill each other, though, I pretty much go right after. Blue's not going to have any impact on like what happens with pink and black. So it's very good that red and yellow are right after me in turn order. And uh, the three people, uh, the three amigos that are going to uh, get smoked are all close. Okay. Does he back away? No. Doubles down. Huh. Okay, let's do this. And this. Give yellow a heart. And do this. He gives me a heart. Black moves out of the way and then pink comes into me. I don't like that either. I I'm playing greedy. So I don't recommend this because this is aggressive. <clears throat> I, I would probably still sit back here to play safe. This 14 is very aggressive. It might make pink, like if black moves out of the way, pink might do, like think, hey, I'll just trade and go through the 14 and then green screwed and I would be screwed. No trade on four. Yeah! 
I really just want to kill everybody. Why is, oh, red has no set and he didn't kill blue. He could have killed blue maybe with no set actually. He had a 19 stack, 19 on one. On a, if he gets a good roll on the six, 18 on six, he loses three. Um, he's like 14 on seven. He, he could have killed blue into a double trade and taken North America. Red, pro, If I was red, I would have went for a blue kill there. Him not doing it means, holy crap. Pink, black, and red are all killable. Offer blue an alliance. I want him to feel good about taking North America. Pink could go through Europe to betray. Well, so I was, I, yeah, so pink, my assumption when I went here was that yellow was going to follow me and go to Ukraine. That was my assumption. Okay, black just smokes pink. And red. Okay. Yeah, so now we assume blue knocks this out. And then red kills black. Red trades. And then kills black and takes this. He should kill pink too if he does. Well, pink's gonna... Is pink still here? I would love if he left this pink one, honestly. Pink kills mine then. I mean, unless he trades. He probably trades, but if he doesn't, he does with the plus two. He also had a plus two up here. He's right back in the game. Time to get my revenge. This game is so dumb. Uh, this game is dumb and it is over. Good game, everybody. If you don't believe me, I will show you why. Good game. Unless I just get the worst trades ever and the worst dice ever, but... Wait, we do this. Oh yeah, that's I, I got two big trades. This is uh this is over. India, Middle East, uh, Iceland, Egypt, Venezuela. I want to use, and uh, we'll go then Venezuela. Yeah. Nobody heard that. I actually should just full focus blue first, right? Honestly. Okay, dice. Okay, <clears throat> I need to kill blue more than I need to kill pink. The blue kill gives me five cards, the pink kill only gives me two, so it wouldn't have been enough. Gives me another big trade. Dude, you love to see it. Now I end pink into another trade, and then we send white, and that's game. <laughs> oh, we'll use Indonesia. That's a good game, yeah, yeah, good game. Well played. Uh, en enough of a setup like that, and it's just rip. It's ripperino for him. He says, well, but yeah, that was a very clean clinical win right there. <laughs> and now, now we just big trade and follow him with the 20. Whatever he does, we follow him and kill him. What a sick finish.
Didn't kill everyone in a single turn. What a casual. Come on, 90. That was pretty good. All this guy does is win all his games. Who could have predicted the three people suiciding over Australia die first? Yeah, yeah. Good game. I can't end in the Congo, unfortunately. Good game, well played. Holy crap, what a sick game. That, that was a game. This game would be good for a YouTube short. I'm off to bed. If you do a Hunger Games, I want to be paired with Kilted Chair if they play. Fair, fair. I'll save, I'll save the Hunger Games. Uh, so ranks, six Grandmasters once again. How do we beat six of the top players on the leaderboard in a game like that with just such a snowball? Absolutely insane. And if you're listening only, maybe you should look at the screen because maybe I'm full of malarkey. Thank you for joining till the end of this video. Please subscribe if you're new here and I'll catch you in the next one.